What's going on YouTube? It's Alex here with Present Moment Photographs and today we're taking another journey with Max. Uh, this is a part of the horseshoe bin trip and now we're up in Kanab and we're going to this super cool spot. Um, it's got a few names but the one name that I like is the Great Chamber. So we're going to go check that out, get some cool photos um, and kind of maybe do a little navigation there because I've heard it can be kind of hard to get to. So. Uh, we're going to go check that all out and uh, should be pretty sick. Alright guys, we're on this dirt road and it's about to get absolutely sick nasty. We came from the main highway to a mini highway, which really wasn't a highway, but we were zooming on it. And now we're on a little dirt road. There was kind of a fork and we went straight slash left. And now this is telling me to go left here and I'm not seeing a left. And no. Nope shot. That, that's the left nope shot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, a, wait a there. minute. I'm going to hop out, out for a little B-roll. See As you can see, YouTube, we clearly missed the left here. He was going to go straight because that's the left. And I guess we're just going to send it. It looks like he's ready to go. Oh, he doesn't know if this is it. Well, we'll see. I guess we drive 45 minutes down some random sketchy dirt road like usual. So point of reference YouTube, when in doubt, trust the all trails because Google Maps has let us down many times. And if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe, we'll show you more. So either I'm the worst navigator in the world or I'm just an ass, maybe a bit of both. But uh, he's got to back up because I told him a little late on the turn. Yeah, we got to throw it in reverse again, twice today now. But to get here, we're kind of just following the all trails to Cutler Point. Yep, and, and then we're slapping the four wheel up, drive Yep, on. yep, yep. Click. Wait, wait, wait. I, wait. I don't know how to do it. Shit, okay, no touching. We gotta go neutral first. Neutral, then, oh. See, we'd, we'd be screwed if I had at to get us out of here. You, at least how the U works, so I just, Well, this ain't a Yukon, this is no, a four runner. I've heard, I've heard you can do some nasty stuff with the switching. Crocodile staging area, let's go home. All right, you got the uh, the all trails for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on track. Very nice, we're very on nice. track right here Our on this. Let's go. That's a nice house they're building there, dude. So don't go in there. They'll probably shoot us. Oh, oh, this is like some white pocket roads. Oh yeah, not quite schneebly, <laughs> but this is intense. Not yet, it ain't. Well, this, oh. this is the start, so. Yeah. If it's oh like boy. this, it ain't too bad, but... Oh boy. I wouldn't recommend coming out here in a 1993 Honda Civic, though. Who's driving a 93 Civic, dude? Ah, our buddy Colin, and he would definitely try to send it on this Shout road. Shout out to our boy Colin. What's hey. up? Go follow the Shyster01 on YouTube if you want some Twitch. cool... Twitch. Ah, Twitch, Twitch, my bad. Some cool gaming clips. I thought we were fucking cooked for a second, dude. Yeah. When your tires started sliding? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you definitely do need some sort of off-road vehicle for this. The the sand gets a little deep. That, that was kind of intense. We're sliding a little bit, just a little bit, but present moment photographs, Alex has got it under control. Made it to the uh, trailhead area. It's not really a parking lot. It's just a bunch of sand, kind of sketchy. 
Uh, there's a little hill there, uh, which is gnarly sand to get up. So if you aren't confident in your driving vehicle, whatever, I would park down below. It's not much further of a walk, but we got a spot here, kind of in the middle of the road, but that's okay. So did that person. So shame on both of us, something like that. Um, but anyways, the things up there, we saw it coming in and it's easy to spot coming in. So we kind of know the general direction of hike. I don't know if there's necessarily a trail. Uh, we'll see in a second, but uh, we've got the all trails too. That'll show us. So we're going to go up there and check out your cove. All right. All right, so it's a pretty short hike, but it's all sandy, as you can see, so a little tiring. All right, we're almost there. This is the gnarly uphill climb battle. Yep. All right, here it is. Holy smokes. Nice view. I'm gonna go to calf workout. There's some gremlins in the cave. All right, here we are, we made it to the spot. It's absolutely freaking gigantic and super sick. Um, beautiful lighting. Really cool thing about this spot is you don't need to come for like sunrise, sunset, which would probably be sick, but I mean, just like midday, it's beautiful. So yeah, I've got an 18 millimeter lens and we'll try some shots with that. Might need to do some panos. Uh, not super sure, but we'll mess around and figure it out. All right, so here's the framing. It's 18 millimeters and it's a full frame camera. And it pretty much gets the whole thing in the frame, which is pretty big. Um, just barely vertically it does not. I did some ver some shots going up like this for a vertical pano. Um, but 18 is just big enough to kind of get it in the frame. So if you do come here, I mean, you can use a bigger lens and do like a vertical panorama. But if you want to do one shot, like 18 is kind of the highest or the wide, least wide. <laughs> Uh, least wide if I'm doing the math right there that you can go but I mean this spot is sick <laughs> I mean yeah all right we got chef up there in the frame we're taking some sick thought thoughts photos fonts whatever you want to call them um, but yeah we're just uh, we're just hanging out now all right you guys thanks for watching today's video um, thanks for coming along to this epic spot uh, make sure down below like and subscribe the video and we'll have some others coming out from this trip that are going to be super cool um, So make sure to check those out and stay tuned to see those um, And then also kind of just a quick recap, you know this area um, Just be mindful when you're here and you know if you do your research, it's easy to figure out where it's at Just be careful because the roads are gnarly and unless you're an absolute demon freak like me uh, Driving around it's hard to get to um, hikes not bad though short but intense but not bad um but the views are worth it you can really come any time of day i mean look at that sick uh, so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one all right peace Bye.